Hey there, hey, it's Daniel from thegoodapps.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, we will get custom Google Slides template and then edit it ourselves. Let's go and get a custom Google Slides template and then edit it. Simply a slice template from any other source except those common ones on Google Docs and except making one on your own. First, let's quickly make sure that we are signed into the Google account. Head to the google.com in your browser. And here on Google's homepage, drag your mouse cursor to the top right corner of the screen. And here you check whether you are signed in or not. If you are signed in, you will see your profile picture or an icon with a person if you don't have it. If you are not signed in, you will see such a button suggesting to sign in. So we press it. Now here we enter either our email address or a phone number linked to the account. I'll use my email, which is thegoodocs at gmail.com and then I press next down here. On this next page, I'm entering my password and so are you. And then pressing next over here. I'm redirected back to the Google homepage, but now I am signed in to my Google account. That you can always check by looking at the top right corner here. If you see either your profile picture or an icon with a person, it means you are signed in. Now from here, we go to the website with Google Slides templates. Or searching it in Google from right here. The Goo Docs free templates. And enter. Scrolling down and skipping the advertisements. And here's the website, thegoodocs.com, that we press on. And we got to its homepage. I'm not going to go really far here. We are going to modify the essential and popular one, the Old Times newspaper. But keep in mind that the range of templates here is huge. And you can find here hundreds of newspapers and other Google Docs and Slides templates. First, let's get it. Click on the image or its headline. On this next page on the left, you can scroll down and preview the template and get it if you like it. And for that, go up and next to the image locate such a window and press the Edit Template button. Here, as you can see, it says that it will be opened in Google Docs, more specifically in Google Slides. And we have a single slice, which is the common A4, measured 8.3 by 11.7 inches, so select it. On the next page, we wait till the download starts. And on the next window, Google Slides will ask you if you want to copy the template to your Google Drive. So yes, to use it, press Make a Copy. Wait a bit. And it will open in front of you as a common Google Slides presentation, but now it is located on your Google Drive. You can edit it and all your changes will be automatically saved on your drive. Now, let's do something with it. What I think we better start from is changing the name of the newspaper. Mine will be named Good Old Times. And now it doesn't actually look good, taking too much space and it's gone over the text. But we can just decrease font size to make it fit in better. Let's highlight the text in this text box. Go to the top toolbar to the font size and click a minus button a few times until it fits. And here it is, but we need to center it. Put your mouse cursor over any border of this text box. And when the cursor turns into a sign with arrows, press hold the mouse and move it a bit down. There we go, perfect. Then, of course, we can edit the paragraphs of the article. But let's do something related to the presentation format, like some basic animations and transitions. 
and let's animate that box with the name that we have just changed to make it appear on the slide in some interesting way. Select the box figure by pressing anywhere on it. And when it highlights, go to the top toolbar and press Insert there. In the drop-down menu, drag the cursor down to the animation item and press it as well. Now on the right, we have a motion controls menu and the object we're applying it to is still highlighted on the slide. Now, in the motion controls menu, below the object animation, we have our text box element. And here we can select the animation and its appearance type, which is on click or after the previous animated element. Since it's the first element, it will be on click. And for the animation type in this field, I'd like to choose fly in from left, because this is how I just imagine it in my head. Now, let's test our animation by pressing play below all the items. And now, let's click once anywhere on the slide. And the animation will play. Just as I imagined it. And stop in it. And as you just saw, there's plenty of animations and you can experiment with different animations for different objects and find what you like. For instance, I also want this text box with the date to appear in some other way. I select it, pressing Add Animation in the Controls menu and selecting Fly In from right. And for the appearance method, I want it to start right after the previous element, after the name. So I select after Previous and press Play. Now, I'm clicking anywhere on the slide to launch the first animation. And then the second one comes right after it without pressing anything. Nice. Okay, let's also try the transition to the second slide. We will select the second slide on the left. It will get highlighted. And here in the right motion controls menu, below the slide transition, I'm pressing on and it shows the new menu to select the transition. So, in this field, let it be a simple dissolve. Now, let's see what we have in the end. Go to the first slide and press present in the top right corner. One click to start it. Animation 1. Animation 2. And then click to move to the next slide which appears with such a dissolve animation. Here we go. And just to mention, the possibilities to create and edit the template are limitless. From the text boxes, their font style and size to animations and transitions, images and many other stuff to a total remake to make it look just the way you want. All this can become your completely new work because it's easier to get a free template and paste your data into it than designing it all on your own from a scratch. Fortunately, there are lots of absolutely free templates on the goodocs.com for you. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodocs.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.